Victorious ones, sometimes when you're in a long battle, right, it just seems like it's never going to end. And then some people, they just accept that, you know, that the problem is now part of their identity. But that's not true. There's a story in the Bible of a man who was stuck for 38 years and a woman who was paralyzed for 18 years. But when Jesus showed up, those individuals were fixed. They were healed. They were straightened out. And so I decree and declare over your life that the long battles you've been going through with no progress, Ephrathah is your breakthrough. Listen, your Red Sea must open up. Your deliverance must manifest in the name of Jesus. That long battle is not your portion. That is not who you are. God said there's more for you. Woman, men, be loose in the name of Jesus. Get up, pick up your mat and walk. That issue is not who you are. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future on repeat. That's who you are. And so go back and think about those things that's been in your life for a long time. And perhaps you have settled. Perhaps you have given up sitting on a sick porch with sick people. No, you have power. You have authority. You have dominion. God has given that to you through Jesus. Get up in wisdom, get up in knowledge, get up in understanding and go forth and do what God is calling you to do. Stop worrying about the past. That is not who you are. God said you are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. You are not your problem. You are not your pain. You are not your mistakes. Straighten yourself out. Straighten your mind up. That's why Jesus went in the room with the parents of that little girl who was dead. He shut the door on the naysayers. You got to shut the door of your past. Shut the door of your trauma and say, Talitha Kum, I'm going to arise. I'm going to get up. I'm going to mount up on wings as eagles. And I'm going to do what thus saith the Lord. God has more for me. You have to speak it that the life are in the power of your tongue. You have to make a decision. That man was making all types of excuses. Talk about, oh, I have nobody to help me. And Jesus said, no, wrong response. You get up. You pick up your mat and you walk. And that's how you do it. The same thing with the woman who was paralyzed. She was crippled. She was broken down, paralyzed by fear. What did Jesus say? What did he say to her? Woman, thou art loose. You speak it to yourself. I'm loose. I'm free. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. I'm delivered. I'm restored. Speak the word of God over your life and you will see major changes. Ask me how I know. The thief has been caught and he must give you back seven times what he has stolen from you, lying to you. You are more than all your problems.